and I think that we're so complex sometimes and have really gotten away from a lot of our basic needs to the point where I think a lot of us feel guilty meeting our needs. beautiful people my name is Brittany and today I'm going to be sharing about I guess you could say my experience being human if that sounds weird I really invite you to stick with me because I'm really excited to share this I guess realization in this nice casual way with all of you to give you a little background info I am currently in California I'm going to be here for the next almost month a few weeks and to get here, I traveled from Southeast Asia and it took 48 hours. And I planned it out really nicely. Connor and I planned it out nicely so that way we could have the best itinerary possible. But anyway, you cut it, traveling halfway around the world or around the world is really intense. And I noticed as I was walking through the airport, one of the many airports we were in, totally exhausted and just <laughs> laughing at the whole situation that it was completely out of the norm for me to be exhausted and to feel so out of sync with what my body wanted and needed. Not being able to move the way I wanted to, sleep when I wanted to, have the comfort around me, have the environment around me all the time, have the ideal foods I wanted. And I realized that that's really out of the norm for me. And I feel so grateful that that's true that that's what I've created my life to be like, because that wasn't always the case for me. I used to be really used to being exhausted and not having ideal conditions to thrive in. And what's changed since then is that I feel like some time ago I really decided that I wanted to dedicate my life to finding out what inspired me what made me tick, finding out who I am, and dedicating my life to becoming the most epic version of myself that I can, and sharing my findings with the world, and inspiring others to get inside themselves that way, and find their passion, and their joy, and their love, and just find out more about themselves and share that with the world. And when I really think about it, what the journey for me feels like it's been, is a journey in being human. I was thinking as I was <laughs> walking down this corridor feeling so overwhelmed that what I wanted wasn't a big deal. I wanted to have my basic human needs met and I couldn't get them met in that environment. And it's interesting how I become so uncomfortable with even you know a few hours of not an ideal environment. And I'm so grateful for that. I really feel like I'm not willing to put up with much. I want to feel great and I know that I can and I know that I deserve it. I think we all deserve it. But getting back to this basic human thing, sometimes people will ask me, like, what is it? What's your secret? What do you do? How do you live such a happy life? How do you get to live your dreams? And when I really think about it, simplicity feels like it's at the the root of this message, how it feels like it shows up for me. And it's simply being human. I've spent so much energy, I've dedicated so much energy into finding out what it means to be human and what it means to care for myself the best I can as a human. And it feels interesting to me to notice that I feel like all other animals basically do this intuitively. Their life is about being, you know, whatever their species is. On the plane I watched this animal planet really cool thing and I was thinking about this reflection as well and how I wanted to share it here. And it's so clear to me that their instincts are what drive them. That they do all these species specific things and it's totally normal. And I think that we're so complex sometimes and have really gotten away from a lot of our basic needs to the point where I think a lot of us 
feel guilty meeting our needs, feel guilty getting things like fresh air, a warm climate, sunlight, the appropriate amount of sleep each night, the appropriate types of foods, and the love that we need, the touch that we need, the self-expression, the playfulness, and that so much of what I feel like we've learned is to work hard and to be successful in a certain way. All these things that in a way don't have much to do with being human. Being human is pretty simple. Just like the simple animalistic things, what do we need? What are our basic human needs? And that's what I feel like I've dedicated so much of my life to figuring out. And the more I dive into it, the more I realize it's really simple. And what I feel like I'm doing is shedding a bunch of stuff I learned that totally doesn't serve me, doesn't feel like it actually resonates with me, my core, as just like a human animal. And yeah, I feel, I feel really excited about it and passionate about it and I almost feel like I'm not even conveying the, the beautiful simplicity of this message and how much I feel it within me, how important it feels. I imagine that what feels to me like meeting my basic human needs probably sometimes looks or feels to others like super luxurious or super basic. And that's really interesting to think about too. I am always thinking about the environment that I'm living in and what I want it to have. I travel a lot and part of that is because I always want to be in warm, comfortable places with sun and fresh air and a great community and great produce and a number of other things. I want to have plenty hours in my day to express myself creatively and physically and sexually and all these elements that feel super important to me. Some people have told me that it's like so luxurious that I travel around the world and go to all these tropical destinations. And I love that. And it's funny in a way to me that living in an ideal environment has become luxurious to us because I think that it really has. But I think we deserve it. And I know that I grew up in Rhode Island freezing my butt off most of the year thinking like, why? Why do people stay here? Everybody complains every year that it is too cold and that they only enjoy the summer, but they stay here. And the food in the winter is pretty lame. And you know, like people are unhappy because they're not seeing the sun and people aren't getting outside and getting fresh air and the beach is like way too cold to enjoy, all these things. And then <laughs> this other side of things where I'll get feedback like that's really, almost seems like scraping by or super simple, having so few items. Like, am I living frugally? You know, why do I choose to live in an RV? Is it that I'm, this, this idea of trying to cut corners or scrape by? And that for me too is really, like just feels like the best abundant choice in being human. It's because I want to just have a few items and I love living in an RV. I love the freedom that I have to travel anywhere. I love having all the things that I need right there for me. So it's interesting just to, to have this time, especially notice when I'm traveling from place to place, that I love reflecting on my life and how it feels in different environments and why I choose to live the way that I do. And so my latest insight is that in a way my life dedication at this point feels like just simply being human and that it's, it's really fun to get to share that reflection with all of you. I also really love encouraging others to find what it takes to live their ideal life and to be human in your own way. And so I created this program that if you want to check out you can use this discount code and it guides you through all these different elements of life and helps you find out what it is for you, what it is that you're looking for, that you're wanting more of, that you want to welcome into your life. Because you really deserve it. I feel like I can't say that enough. We all, I really believe that we all deserve to live the life of our dreams. And it might be really simple what you want. 
I hope you all enjoyed this. I've been excited to make this video and to connect with you all in this way. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up or share it around. Sending so much love your way. Mwah.